Okay, peoples, I'm back. Um, this is um, the video that I was going to show you guys. This is uh, where they keep it in. Nice thing, right? This is a porcelain. And this is a cork lid. And that's what it is. Portuguese pencil factory and I know that these are sold uh, all over the world so um, you just Google uh, for this stuff um, the thing is that I, I, I got it and um, it says that if it's dry um, you should treat it just like clay so I wrapped it in a little thingy which is wet but then when it's wet because it's water sol solu solutable or whatever you call it but look at that it really uh, trans transfers onto your uh, onto your hands so this is like clay as you can see <laughs> that's cool right I love that I really love it but the thing is that um, oops, pieces are dropping off. You don't want to have pieces dropping off. So then that's a sign that it's just a little bit too dry. Then you have to add a little bit of water, right? So let's make clean that off. Now what I was going to do with this is just put it on the paper like that and sort of make these patterns. I think that's sort of nice and organic looking. Just put it on the paper and pick it up. Don't want those little pieces in there though. But the thing about this stuff is that um, it's uh, sort of like watercolor. So see how, how dirty your hands get? And the, it washes off really easy but I don't want to get it under my nails. So what you want is some sort of a like texture and then when you put it on you want to move it a little bit that makes it a little darker but I had all these um, plans on doing things with this like making a little ball like this but then I need something to press into it and I'm not sure what I'm going to use for that. I'll have to go find something I think upstairs but let's say oops yeah I can do that I want to give you an idea what I'm thinking about so when you press something in here like this and then press it on like that it leaves uh, a little you know the opening bit what you press into it sort of makes it interesting and of course you can always come back and do a little more to make it a little darker but right now this is uh, starting to really look like something very organic but I think it needs a little bit more uh, moisture and of course you can roll it but for that I think you have to really wet the paper a little bit but you can do some really nice uh, mixed-media pieces with it so but every time you put it on the paper you really want to uh, roll it up and give it you know different forms but can you imagine uh, what you can do with it but I kind of like this uh, what it's going what's going on here but then I'll show you what happens when you make it when you wet the stuff so I'm gonna put it back in here totally black fingers now with a, a little brush and with no color, I don't want any color in it, but look what happens. 
Oh, I don't think you can really see that very well, but it sort of is water. See that? That it's starting to dissolve. Now, another thing that you can do, and this one is also same uh, factory. This is a uh, uh, graphite stick, and you could do some really nice drawings like this and make them nice and thick. And then <clears throat> when you go over them with the uh, with the wet brush, you can see this one is much intense intenser than the uh, than the little ball. So if you're going to be, you know, sort of experiment and experimenting with this stuff, I would absolutely get a couple of those sticks and uh, maybe a pencil or two, graphite pencils. I have them upstairs. I have to go get them, but I'll do that tomorrow. But can you imagine, you know, the effects that you can get out of it? Now, another thing they said is that you can make the paper wet and then it transfers better. So I'm going to be doing that. So we're just going to make it wet because I just want to show you the possibilities. I'm not going to keep this. But now when you put it on the paper, you can see how intense that that stuff is. And that's by just, you know, making a uh, a wet surface. And that way it transfers even more than it just did. Now you can, of course you can draw with it, but I don't think that is really uh, interesting enough. And you can just roll it all over the place. But I, I really like, you know, the, the organic looking stuff. Now for color, of course you can add color, but you have to be careful because you don't want to uh, go over that black because that will dirty up the uh, the color. Let's get a bright color. Let's put some up here. That's really bright. But you can imagine everything you can do with it. So just, you know, having something like this on a really big piece of paper would look really cool. Now let's put another thing in here. And you can go over the color like that. See that? But you can't put the color over this because that will bleed like crazy. So it's a sort of a mess, but it's also <laughs> pretty fun to use. And, uh, you know, just something different. I've never seen uh, anyone that I know use this. I've seen it on, uh, on YouTube. That's kind of cool. I like what's happening here. Now, let's see if we can frame something like this. And that would look pretty cute if it, if you leave a little bit more negative space. That would look really cool. Let's see if we got... Okay, let's do some here. Make it wet first. Let's rub it in. Even that is cool. That's about all we want. Then some color. And a little bit of light color.
sometimes you don't need much to make something that looks interesting. There it is. That's all we're going to do. And then see that? Then now all of a sudden it looks cool. And of course you can let this dry and uh, your hands, I don't know what you're going to do with the hands, but you can't touch your paper because as you can see you get fingerprints. But that is kind of cool looking. And I would then sort of work in it. But of course you have to let it dry first. Uh, right now I'm doing this in the wet paper. That's not a good thing to do, but just for the sake of uh, showing you guys what you can do with it. So that's kind of cool. Oops. That's soaking up the, uh, the water there. Yeah, you have to do that when it's dry, then you can make some uh, some effects. Right now this is going to merge into the paint, so you don't want to do that. But as you can see, you can make tiny little pretty little things. I like how this is feathering out, that is kind of cool. And of course you can always come back in with your stick and do something with it, like that. if you don't think it's interesting enough. And that's sort of it, peoples. So uh, the name of the stuff, uh, it's, uh, that's the, uh, the company's name and it's called uh, Needable uh, Graphite. There are a few, uh, there are a few videos on YouTube about, about it, where they do different things with it. But I'm more of a, I like the, just pushing it on the paper because I think uh, the shapes it makes, it sort of appeals to me. I like that. So uh, we'll see. I'll uh, just put a little bit more water on top of this because it's really dry. You can just break it apart, see that? So that's a, a sign that it's uh, just a little bit too dry. A little water in the middle stick it back together and see if it just takes up that moisture and then tomorrow maybe it'll just be a little bit easier to work with I do like uh, how it looks when you uh, wet the paper I think that is the most appealing to this stuff leaves a nice dark mark Okay guys, putting it back in its little container, put the lid back on, oops, got to push it down a bit, otherwise the lid doesn't fit, there it goes. Okay peoples, thank you for watching and I'll see you back tomorrow, not going to do a acrylic pour today, I'll do that tomorrow, then I'll set my whole studio up and then, uh, because now it's all watercolors and stuff. So uh, have a happy and fun Saturday. Love you all to pieces and see you in the next video. Laters.